In order to understand the sea leg, it is best to start with nature as a model. Walking is such an automatic function for us that we do not have to concentrate on it. Yet numerous complicated processes occur every time we take a step. The request for a movement is initiated by the brain. From there, the impulses travel through the spinal cord and nerves to the muscles, in this case the calf muscle. The human body is equipped with numerous sensors. They provide feedback about the progression of the motion and success of the step as we walk. Muscle activity and nerve stimulation are constantly interacting. This so-called reflex loop occurs approximately 20 times per second. In other words, the brain updates the movement around 20 times in one second. Many of these important structures are missing after an amputation. The sea leg was designed with the objective of approximating the human gait as closely as possible. But how exactly does walking with a sea leg work? Two sensors in the knee and ankle supply information to a microprocessor. Based on this information, the microprocessor controls the hydraulics in real time. The required operational energy is supplied by the integrated battery. In the sea leg, the sensors effectively replace some of the body's natural sensors and the hydraulics replace some of the stabilizing muscle functions. Walking is divided into the stance phase and the swing phase. In the stance phase, the main task is stabilizing the leg so that it can support the body weight. Dynamic control is required in the swing phase, which means that the leg has to be controlled as it swings through, with the lower leg being slowed down in preparation for the next step. The sea leg has a high level of hydraulic damping in the stance phase, offering security right where it is needed. It only leaves this secure state when two criteria are met simultaneously. The knee must be fully extended and approximately 70% of the body weight of the prosthesis wearer must be supported by the forefoot. Only then does the prosthesis switch to the swing phase. This is how the intelligent, state-of-the-art control unit of the sea leg assures high safety for the prosthesis wearer.